Thank you, Denise. The Jamaica Lacrosse Association and the GC Foster College have signed a partnership which will see the St. Catherine-based institution becoming the hub for all national teams. Here once again is Simon Preston. GC Foster will be the home for all training camps of the Jamaica Lacrosse Association moving forward. In addition to the camps, senior lecturer at the only English-speaking Caribbean Sports College, Gibbs Williams, says the sport will be introduced to students and coaches to gain certification. Bringing lacrosse into our curriculum must be a win-win situation for Lacrosse Jamaica, GC Foster College, and by extension, Jamaica. We had absolutely no hesitation. And so, with effect, semester two, which starts on January 3, lacrosse will be introduced as an elective. Director of Operations at the JLA, Brian Silcott, believes the partnership could help grow the sports locally. It's, it's going to be huge. The fact that GC Foster is willing to embrace the sport of lacrosse and, and teach it to, to PE teachers is going to make all the difference in the world. So right now, you know, most kids start playing as a freshman in high school. But if they're being taught the game in elementary school, you know, in grammar school and, and in middle school before they get to high school, it means they already know how to catch and throw when they get to high school. So them taking it, bringing it to PE classes gives a chance for kids to start playing earlier so then they end up better at the game on the back end as well. Not to mention the fact that more kids will just play. Vice President of the JLA, Dwight Clark, is grateful for this partnership. I'm really happy that GC Foster allow us this opportunity to really show the sport to all, all their, their, their students and, and their lecturers so they can get on board with us and, and help us to spread the word of lacrosse and grow the game in Jamaica. The Under-19 Men's Lacrosse World Cup is set to run from July 12 to 28 in Ireland. The Senior Women's World Cup is slated for June 29 to July 9 in Maryland, USA, while the 2023 Men's World Cup qualifiers are slated for August next year. Simon Preston reporting for TVJ Sports. Meanwhile, getting lacrosse equipment into the island will not be as difficult as before, according to President of the JLA, Calbert Hutchinson. Hutchinson says the JLA has also formed a union with the lacrosse colleges of America, which will send sticks and balls to the island for usage to grow the sport. We have forged relationship with overseas organizations such as um, non-profit donations that collect equipment from uh, colleges and universities. We have a relationship with the Sport Development Foundation here who will give us letters of um, exemption when we're importing these equipment through either groups, individuals or other organizations. We also establish our own 501c3 entity in the States, that's a Jamaica Lacrosse Association within the U.S., which will raise funds to help us get these equipment in. The sport of lacrosse has been played in Jamaica since 2013.